Utter failure. Up to now, nobody has been able to put an end to the evil, wicked doings of the Frankenstein monster. His greatest enemy has been Bulldog Denny, who has thwarted him on every occasion. But the bare fact still remains that in attempting to finish off the monster once and for all, there has been nothing but utter failure. Seated at a large table in a dimly lighted room is a group of mysterious figures. Who they are, we do not know. But one thing we can hint, that they are out to destroy Frankenstein. Although Frankenstein is the name of the beast's creator, the creation itself has come to be called Frankenstein. At the head of the group is Bulldog Denny, archenemy of the monster. Gentlemen, you know why I have called you together. Until now, I have pitted my powers against Frankenstein. I am called to Washington to advise in some defense project. With me gone, Frankenstein will feel free to wreak havoc aplenty. I know you can do a successful, complete job. The rest is in your hands. And now, for the first time, the identity of the characters is revealed. Yank and Doodle. Don't worry, Bulldog Denny. We can handle that, Hulk. Sure, it's like a big bomber in a couple of swift pursuit planes. That's him and that's us. The Black Owl. I've gone through enough harrowing experiences to keep my spirits against Frankenstein, although it's a tough assignment. The Green Llama. With certain supernatural powers at my command, Frankenstein will be exterminated. The General and the Corporal. Just let us at him! He's the size of 20 men, but we'll throw him! Uh, well, me, I'd rather fight 20 men. Dr. Frost. The freezing powers endowed me will certainly aid us in our mission. Let's go! And so, with a hitherto unheard of assemblage of crime crushers, made up of the characters you know so well, we witness the beginning of the end of the Frankenstein monster. The scene changes to the lair of Frankenstein. Hello, Tobo. Off into the night again. Good evening, friend Gore. There are field mice for you tonight. Ah, Gore. You have brought a new friend. A giant owl. How huge. Yes, another owl. A black owl. A nocturnal owl who is no friend of your friends. Look at the battle the black owl is putting up. Looks like he doesn't need our help. Hey, Frankenstein has him pinned down. He's going to mash him to a pulp. The gun won't go off. It's jammed. I'll get inside and see what's wrong, General. Over the cliff with you, Black Owl. Good work, work Corporal. Corporal. Frankenstein lands in the foliage. His body twitches, his eyes open. And he sees a new figure before him. Yes, you are still alive, you monster. But come, I will take you to a land that is much different from this one. Here you prey on helpless beings, crushing out their lives, causing misery, grief, tragedy. But now you will be the one that is tortured. You will be the prey of others. Home, Mani Padme, home! With these magic Tibetan words, Frankenstein seems to find himself in another world. Beneath his feet are crawling, slimy, loathsome creatures. From a cave entrance comes a weird, terrible sound, the voice of some monster unknown to man. It emerges in all its horror and ensnares Frankenstein with its powerful tail. They struggle. Fear overtakes the giant. With all his strength, he is just able to break the attacker's grip and escape. The Green Llama concludes the vision, but the terrifying effect lingers. Ah, he is afraid. He is in deathly fear, and he is headed right for Yank and Doodle. Here he comes! Don't give him a chance! We'll sail right into him! You said it! Excuse my flighty feet! Greetings, you big lug! Going our way? Remember that double-barreled act we pulled on the Mad Mask? I get ya! We may mash our brains on this subject, but it's worth the risk. Wow, that guy's hot as a rock. Where is he? Exhausted, Frankenstein sees one avenue of escape. To dive off the cliff into the water below. But yet, another foe must have his chance. Frankenstein dives, and Dr. Frost gestures. The waters freeze, and Frankenstein lands head-first with a resounding crash. 
Yes, I guess we are just an invincible bunch of guys. And we'll be back in a future episode of the Public Domain Comic Book Network. But is Frankenstein invincible? Come back next time and every time, gang, for more of your favorite comic book heroes in their most thrilling adventures. This is the Public Domain Comic Book Network. Flash! The fire in Green Forest has completely cut off three forest rangers. The men are trapped. Sounds like a job for me. Lucky thing that Dad has a fire extinguisher in the garage. Now for a giant bubble from my bazooka bubble gum. I'll say the magic phrase, Bazooka, Bazooka, make me a bubble, and fly me to where my good friends are in trouble. And now the magic word to go down. A Kuzab! A Kuzab! Hooray, here's Bazooka. I knew he'd come. I'm glad that Bazooka Adam Bubblegum makes those giant bubbles and cleared the path for us. Let's go! Hey kids, here's a nickel's worth. Six big chews for five cents. Comics in every package. Save wrappers for valuable prizes. Wow.